after Hurricane Harvey hit Texas. Our next guest actually used his drones to help in recovery and relief. And now he is in Florida and ready to help in the wake of Hurricane Irma. Brett Velikovich is a former special operations intelligence analyst and the author of Drone Warrior, and he joins us now. Brett, thanks for being here. I remember we, we did a segment right before you headed to Houston. We've seen some footage from that. Uh, what are you doing right now in, in Florida? Right, so uh, essentially what's happened now is a lot of people obviously are heading out of Florida. Our team's heading in. We just moved uh, our group of professional drone pilots and a small team and, and equipment of industrial drones here to help with Irma. And we've actually embedded with a group of uh, medical professionals, so doctors, nurses, even a canine search and rescue team. And we're going to basically be augmenting them with drone support. And so a lot of the stuff that we can do with drones is actually going to occur after uh, the storm hits. And so we're going to be really focused focused on doing instant damage assessments, providing live streams of videos to people in need, sending videos from the drone camera to command centers, and also really doing some of the stuff we did at Harvey, which was inspecting critical infrastructure, making sure homes were safe to return to. And really what we've done now is we've, we've pre-staged here in Orlando. Uh, we're going to be monitoring the storm to figure out where are the, the locations that we need to focus on um, after it hits. It's so interesting to see the perspective from a drone, Brett, because I think it's, it's a lot more helpful from above. Oftentimes, as we saw, like in Houston, getting places to rescue people had to be via boat. It was really difficult. But what you're able to do from up above is really life-changing. Talk to us about that difference and how that can be so helpful for people. No, you're exactly right, and that's one of the benefits of drones is that they can get to places quicker and faster than uh, people can manually. And so the idea here is basically for us to provide essentially intelligence support um, to uh, rescue uh, crews that are actually out there trying to help these victims. And some of the things we actually have are thermal imaging cameras, right? So uh, we can do conduct mapping. Um, we've been talking to some of the local firefighting departments here, and one thing that they're significantly concerned with is if the water rises to the same levels that we had in Houston, you know, there's a lot of alligators around here. And right. so one of the things that people are going to be concerned with is, are these alligators in these neighborhoods now? And so we can actually use the thermal cameras on the drone to fly over in front of these, uh, these individuals and make sure that there's nothing in the water they should worry about. And we've even been given underwater drones that have sonar and cameras. So right. one of the things we learned from Harvey was that um, there was E. coli starting to form in some, in some of the water. So medical personnel were not able to go in there. They were afraid to go in there. And we can actually hmm. use those underwater water drones to test some of the samples and make sure it's safe to go in there as well. Wow. Really interesting and important stuff. So it, really briefly, some of it is private coordination, but you're also working with public officials as well. Yeah, so we're working with a group right now. We've embedded with a group called the Global Outreach Doctors. Um, they're a volunteer force that is really focused on working with local authorities and working with groups that have more limited resources. One of the things that we noticed about Harvey was that all this effort came in there. Um, uh, uh, tons of resources, assets moved into Houston, but a lot, which is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. But a lot of that was focused on Houston proper, and there were a number of outlying areas mm -hmm. that were really hit hard that are even still underwater right now. And so the Global Outreach Doctors right now are going to be focused on of some of the, the agencies that have more of the limited resources that provide the canines, provide the medical support, and also provide drones to help out. And so if people need our help, um, absolutely reach out to us. Uh, that's what we're here for. Right. Yeah. Life-changing. Brett Velikovich, thank you so much. Good luck with your efforts in the coming days. Yes.